Donald Trump left office with the lowest approval rating of any president ever. But some people now seem to be suffering from amnesia. Let me jog your memory. Here are the 10 worst things about the Trump presidency, in no particular order. Number one, Trump fueled division and sparked a record uptick in hate crimes. Number two, murder went way up under Trump. He presided over the largest ever single year increase in homicides in 2020. Now, a number of factors might have contributed to that, but a big one is number three, gun sales broke records under Trump who has bragged about how he did nothing. We did nothing. To restrict guns as president. In spite of, number four, under Trump, America suffered more than 1,700 mass shootings. Number five, Trump said there were very fine people among the neo-Nazis in Charlottesville. Jews for life, replace us. I'm halfway to 10. If you think I'm missing something big, we'll just leave it in the comments. Number six, Trump allied himself with the Proud Boys, a violent hate group who helped to orchestrate the January 6th Capitol attack. Proud, Proud Boys, Boys, stand back and stand by. Number seven, Trump's not wrong when he says, I got rid of Roe v. Wade. It's entirely because of Trump's judicial appointments that one in three American women of childbearing age now lives in states with abortion bans. Number eight, one of Trump's Supreme Court justices was Brett Kavanaugh, a man accused of sexual assault by multiple women. Number nine, Trump's White House interfered in the FBI's investigation of Brett Kavanaugh's alleged sexual assaults. And now, number 10. Trump has been convicted of committing 34 felonies while in office. The criminally false business filings he got convicted for in New York, all of them were committed while he was president. I'm sorry, did I say the 10 worst things about the Trump presidency? No, no I meant 15. Number 11, Trump's failed pandemic response is estimated to have led to hundreds of thousands of needless deaths. By the time Trump left office, roughly 3,000 Americans were dying of COVID every day. That's a 9-11 scale mass casualty event every single day. How did Trump screw up so badly? Number 12, Trump's White House discarded the pandemic response playbook that had been assembled by the Obama administration. Number 13, Trump disbanded the National Security Council's pandemic response team. Number 14, Trump repeatedly lied about the danger of COVID, saying it was no worse than the flu or it would go away on its own. Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. A lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. But behind closed doors, Trump admitted he knew COVID was deadly. This is deadly stuff. Number 15. Trump promoted fake COVID cures, like hydroxychloroquine, and even injecting people with disinfectants. Injection inside or, or almost a cleaning. After Trump's disinfectant remarks, poison control centers received a spike in emergency calls. That's 15 things. Should I keep going? Okay, I'll keep going. The 20 worst things about the Trump presidency. Number 16. Trump presided over a net loss of 2.9 million American jobs, the worst recorded jobs numbers of any president in U.S. history. Number 17, Trump profited off the presidency, making an estimated $160 million from foreign countries while he was president. Number 18, Trump also billed the Secret Service over a million dollars for the privilege of staying at his golf clubs and other Trump properties while they protected him. That's your money. Number 19, Trump caused the longest government shutdown in U.S. history when he didn't get funding for his border wall, which he said Mexico was going to pay for. I'm not going to pay for that wall. Number 20, under Trump, the national debt increased by about 40% more than in any other four-year presidential term, largely because of his tax cuts for the rich and big corporations. You didn't really think I was stopping at 20, did you? We're going to 25. Number 21, 
Trump separated more than 5,000 children from their parents at the border with no plan to ever reunite them, putting babies in cages. <laughs> Number 22, the Muslim ban. Yes, Trump really did try to ban Muslims from entering the country. Number 23, Trump sparked international outrage by moving the American embassy in Israel to Jerusalem while closing the U.S.-Palestine office. Number 24, Trump tasked his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, with drafting a potential Middle East peace plan with zero Palestinian input. Number 25, and finally, Trump recognized Israel's occupation of the Golan Heights, which is considered illegal under international law. So, there you have it, folks. The 25 worst... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I mention the impeachments? We've got to do the impeachments. Okay, let's go to 30. Number 26. Trump broke the law by trying to withhold nearly $400 million of U.S. aid for Ukraine in an effort to extort a personal political favor from Ukraine's President Zelensky. Trump wanted Zelensky to interfere in the 2020 election by announcing an investigation into the Bidens. Delaying this aid to Ukraine weakened Ukraine and strengthened Russia. Number 27, Trump personally attacked and ruined the careers of everyone who stood in the way of his illegal Ukraine scheme, including Ambassador Marie Yovanovitch and Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman. Number 28, to cover up the scheme, Trump ordered the White House and State Department to defy congressional subpoenas. We're fighting all the subpoenas. Number 29. For these reasons, on December 18th, 2019, Trump became the third U.S. president to be impeached. He was charged with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Number 30. Even while he was being investigated for trying to get Ukraine to interfere in the U.S. election, Trump publicly called for China to interfere in the election. China should start an investigation into the Biden. So, those are the 30... What about the other impeachments and trying to end American democracy? Hmm. There was also a pandemic and whatever. Yep. All right, so let's just repeat. Okay, I'll go to 35. Number 31. Long before Election Day, Trump started making false claims that the election would be rigged. It will be a rigged election. Number 32. After losing... Trump falsely claimed the election was stolen, even though his own inner circle, including his campaign manager, White House lawyers, and his own Justice Department and Attorney General told him it was not. The claims of fraud were bullshit. Number 33. Trump kept telling his big lie even after more than 60 legal challenges to the election were struck down in court, many by Trump-appointed judges. Number 34. Trump ordered the Department of Justice to falsely claim that the election was corrupt. Number 35, Trump and his allies used threats to pressure state leaders in Arizona and Georgia to falsify the election results. We may go to 40. Is that okay? 40? Number 36, when none of the previous schemes worked, Trump and his allies produced fake electoral votes cast by fake electors in multiple swing states. We're electors. We're electors. We're electors. We're electors. We're electors. Yeah, the electors are already here. They've been checked in. Trump's former White House chief of staff and Rudy Giuliani are among the many members of his inner circle who have been criminally indicted for this scheme. Number 37, Trump tried to bully Vice President Pence into obstructing the certification of the election. If Mike Pence does the right thing, we win the election. Number 38, Trump invited a mob to the Capitol on January 6th with his, quote, be there, will be wild tweet. Number 39, sworn testimony alleges that when Trump was warned that members of the crowd were carrying deadly weapons, he ordered security metal detectors to be taken down Number 40, knowing the crowd had deadly weapons, he ordered them to go to the Capitol and fight like hell. 